We will start by discovering why LinkedIn is the number one tool, hands down, ever. You're in a meeting, and in this meeting, maybe before or after, it's an important meeting, maybe it's for funding, maybe it's a important customer. Either you will Google them, or they will Google you. How many people Google people? Okay. How many, pe- how many of you Google yourself to see how you're ranking? If you're not doing it, you better do it to see what comes up. So somebody's going to Google you. What do they see when they Google you? What do they see? I've been doing online marketing since online marketing was invented. I was in the software industry. And I've had my domain name for my name for a long, long time. There's not a lot of Jorge Olsons in the world, so that's one. But with all of that marketing, articles, link backs, you know, a quick search will bring a million results for my name. LinkedIn is still number one. And I'm number two under my own name. I can't even rank higher than LinkedIn under my own name. So if somebody's Googling you, your LinkedIn profile should be pimped. It should be pimped because they will judge you not on what you say in your website. They will judge you on what LinkedIn says about you because that's the belief, right? That's the belief. It's LinkedIn saying it. It's not you. Pimp your LinkedIn profile, please. You say, yeah, but... How about my business? If they Google my business, well, let me give you another example. I wrote a book, my first book about 12 years ago, Build Your Beverage Empire. The keyword beverage development has made me over a million dollars since. I've spent so much money, so much money on SEO, beverage development. Who do you think ranks higher? My websites? I have 20 websites on the beverage industry alone. I created a company on LinkedIn for every single keyword that I have a long time ago, and I forgot about it. I didn't post anything. I didn't do anything. That keyword is higher on Google for my LinkedIn company than from all of the 20 companies. So now I don't spend any money. I just let LinkedIn spend the money. A little bit about me. I'm... I like writing, as you can see. This, these are some of my books. My latest one is Lessons from My Guardian Angel. It's not a business book. It's a collection of short stories. I love writing. My mugshot. I've been an executive of software companies. I've been an entrepreneur. I have many different companies. Right now, I am working with GKIC Mexico, spreading the word in other countries. I also manage a fund. I mentor some executives and do other things we keep we keep very very busy as you already know and you say Jorge what are the other reasons I need more reasons give me more give me more give me more how about lead transparency how about knowing exactly who your lead is before you call them or send them an email you know this guy he spoke the other day you can go in and see who he is his telephone number current projects, current needs, hobbies, where he worked before, name of employees or boss. How about this guy? Same thing. Now, if you don't have them already, you can go look for them and see exactly who they are. They don't have to give you permission to see who they are. And then you can just call them. If they don't have their cell phone number listed there, guess what? There's a company button, click the button, call the company, and that's for that person. Easy, but you don't have to do that because you're gonna get their phone number and telephone number. Is that sexy or what? Karma, use karma when you, when you use LinkedIn. This is a post by AJ from maybe a couple of weeks ago, and I say I'm gonna attach myself to AJ That way, with all of you, visit AJ's profile after this chat. You will see that Jorge is everywhere on AJ's profile. 
So if you want to attach yourself to somebody you respect or to somebody in the industry or to somebody that's going to give you leads, go and use karma and endorse them and comment on their wall, comment on their posts like I did in one of AJ's posts and one of AJ's articles. So now I will be forever attached to AJ and no matter what he writes, there will be a click to Jorge. Karma, baby, karma. Use karma. Mark, where is Mark? Same with Mark, I gave Mark a recommendation. When you give recommendations, they, they should be long recommendations. 150 words, not, this is a great guy. Whenever somebody visits Mark's profile, they will see a long recommendation. And that does two things. Number one, they will love it. And maybe you'll get one back. And then number two, because it is a long recommendation, you will get a lot of real estate in their profile. So if it's a popular person, you'll have this much. Six inches, eight inches, five inches. You said, okay, we're getting there. I'm starting to believe that this can work for me. What else? How about the best one? Leads with cash. That's my favorite one. Leads with cash. You will get leads that have money, big money, big, big money to spend. How do we know? Research. There are 5 million investors right now on LinkedIn and they make buying decisions. By the way, I said 5 million, million. They make buying decisions, investment decisions on the platform, on LinkedIn. They ask questions about that investment, that purchasing decision while they are on LinkedIn. And you say, yeah, but they use other mediums as well. Sure they do. They can use topic-specific places. They can use the other social media engines. They can use Facebook, Google, and the other ones. Yeah, but everything else besides LinkedIn together is 29% versus 73% for LinkedIn. People with money, research, and resources that already know where to go for advertising, which is what we mimic, right? Go to LinkedIn for advertising. So they advertise their products and services to high net worth individuals, people with cash. They go to LinkedIn because they already know where it's at. If we look at percentages for personal use and business use, we have Facebook, a lot of baby pictures, connect with friends and family, but making decisions of how they spend their money LinkedIn, talking about business topics that are of influence, LinkedIn, investing, LinkedIn, should I buy this, not this golf club, but this house, this car, this $2 million piece of ERP.